Tiffany, when do you actually wear this? Club. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! This is so weird! <laughs> vlog this has been highly requested by I think I want to say like three people in the comments and so of course I'm gonna be doing this video for those three peoples for my day ones what am I even talking about today we're gonna be swapping outfits with Tiffany I'm gonna be swapping outfits with Tiffany this sounds crazy so we swapped houses and then people were like wait you need to swap closets with her you need to swap clothes so we're gonna try it and I feel like our styles are so different I don't know okay what's three words you would describe my style in Dan Dan's here too it's yeah. unique. It's unique. It's like free. He's, he's like, like, it looks like the clothes were free. <laughs> it looks like you took them out of the trash can. <laughs> it's like, I, I really think it's like an art. Like an art. Oh. <laughs> One day, uh -huh. it looks great. <laughs> What's three words you would describe Tiffany's style? Art? <laughs> he said, he said <laughs> not free. <laughs> Expensive, okay, I actually. I like swearing like more formal. Okay, formal. Formal, yeah. formal, yeah. I do get shocked when I see you in like sweatpants. I'm like, whoa, 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 what's going on? Two words? Yes. Below average. What? <laughs> Your sister went. Give that brother, okay? I'm just kidding, above yeah. average. Exactly. What's another two words? Elegant. Oh, yes, I see that. Like sophisticated, yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. vibe. Like, I feel like you're always like put together. And like, she's like got mature, her. Mature. Yes. yes. So we're gonna be swapping styles. Honestly, I'm really excited for this video, mainly because I wanna put Tiffany in some crazy shit. Sorry, Mango's biting on a mango. <laughs> and this is her new favorite toy right now. She's kind of upset that I'm not throwing it. She's like, hello? Oh. And there she goes. But first, a quick message from today's sponsors, Acorns. Are you guys trying to save and invest money for the future? If yes, What's stopping you? Maybe you're afraid that you'll make a mistake when you try to get into investing. Maybe you feel like you don't have a lot of spare cash that's laying around to invest. Or is it because you don't know a lot about investing? Listen, the investment world can be super intimidating to jump into and that's where Acorns comes in handy. Acorns makes it easy to save and invest every day in the background of just hectic life. You start with just your spare change. No expertise is required. So you start by setting up with Acorns using my Link, which just takes five minutes and then you begin investing with as little as five dollars essentially you're just setting up and letting acorns do the work for you you will barely notice it and over time it can really grow and it's super easy to use and requires absolutely no experience to know how to work it acorns also helps you build habits for your financial well-being that could have honestly a big impact acorns is trusted and backed by leading innovators investors I'm talking PayPal CNBC Ashton Kutcher Steve Steve Harvey, Jennifer Lopez. And Acorns uses diversified portfolios designed by experts to help give you more exposure to more markets. They take a lot of the guesswork out of investing and you can even get a banking account that saves and invests for you every single time that you spend. You can auto invest a piece of every paycheck and there are over 55,000 fee-free ATMs with no overdraft fees. So instantly invest that spare change with every swipe of your Acorns debit card. You will get your Acorns debit card with your signature custom engraved as well. So make sure to go to getacorns.com slash MissMangoButt to download Acorns today. Plus, you can get a $10 bonus investment if you guys use my link to set up an account today. Terms and conditions do apply. Thank you, Acorns, for sponsoring today's video, and let's get into it. Okay, so uh, before we get into this style swap, tell me why Tiffany came over this morning and we were eating breakfast. Normally, okay, if she ever comes over and we have breakfast together, like, I'm the one, like, chit-chatting and we're done, but she just starts telling me about this incident that she had at the mall and I was like wait what, what is happening and I'm listening to this and it progressively gets crazier and crazier and I'm like when was this and she was like oh this was like a million years ago and it was the most random thing ever and I can't stop thinking about it because I want to know there's got to be some other people out there that have experienced this that have heard about this because apparently 
It was a nationwide thing. Let me set the tone for you, okay? So Tiffany, she's a teenager, and she was hanging out with her friends, doing what teenagers do. She was with like two other girlfriends of hers, and they were at the mall, because that's what you do when you're a teenage girl. You're like spending your money, and obviously not investing it in acorns, but anyway, you get the idea. So she's at the mall, and they're walking around, they're buying a couple of things, and you know like in the hallways of the mall, there was this booth that was set up. Like I'm sure it was had the, the black tablecloth, and people were sitting behind it. What I imagine is like a gym booth. Sign up for a gym! You look like you need to work out a little bit. So it was like a table like that. And they're walking past, and they, maybe there was like two young women there, 25 years old, work in this booth. And they keep coming up to the, the three girls, with Tiffany, and she, they're like, hey, your outfit is wow. So she's like, okay, thank you, that's so sweet. And then she's like, you, you're really pretty, you know that? And she's like, Oh, okay, thank you so much. And they're like, no, no, not just you, but your friend and your other friend. You guys, look at you. Oh, oh, oh. And then they're like, okay, like what is going on right now? And she's like, you know what? I don't do this often, <laughs> but why don't you come on over to my booth and let me show you what's going on. So uh, she's got like these little flyers here and it's very professional, it's like the laminated print, it's not like a piece of paper and it's pretty much saying like they're a talent agency essentially. So they represent, you know, they get you modeling jobs, they book you, you know, all these different opportunities in this space and you know, What's fascinating is we actually have like a casting call, like an audition essentially in a couple of weeks. We would love for you to be there. Like you just have to show up at this address right here. It's like this, it's our office, it's our main headquarters. And uh, if it's a fit, like maybe we can help find you some jobs in this modeling world. And they're like, what? So at first they just take the piece of paper and they're like, okay, like thank you, bye, right? And like, I know Tiffany and I'm like, there's no way. There's no way she would have gone to something like this. And she's like, yeah, so one of my friends is really outgoing and was like, hey, why not, who cares? <laughs> so she's like, wait, are you serious? We're gonna go to this like casting call? And she's like, yeah. They're like, we're 16 year olds, what else do we got better to do? So they wait for that casting call and <sighs> when I tell you, they spend time. They got their makeup, you know, they're sitting there putting on their lashes, they're doing their hair, they're putting on their clothes, they're probably on the phone, like, what are you wearing? This is what I would be doing, okay? Then they get to the casting call, it's like in an office building, and right when you walk in, there's the front desk, and then just a bunch of chairs. It's almost like a, I, I mean, I'm sure if you guys have seen, like, any movie or have seen, like, those TikToks of people who go to, like, modeling calls, it's literally just chairs, and everybody's sitting there waiting for their turn to go into the office. But there was tons of people. It wasn't just people that were teenagers, but it was like older women in their 20s and 30s that were dressed up really nicely. There were kids with their parents that were there. So like, it looks like everybody's like trying to join this talent agency. So they fill out these forms and these forms are really specific. Like, what are your hobbies? What are your heights? Even before this, they were told to bring like headshots to the freaking audition, like pictures of your face. I mean, it could be like a selfie, but like bring pictures. So they're like, wow, this is really professional. So they're filling out the forms, like, you know, what, 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 are, what are your interests? How tall are you? What's your weight? They're like, wow, am I gonna be on Victoria's Secret? Like, it was a whole thing. <laughs> she's giggling. <laughs> she's, she's like low key embarrassed, but it's hilarious, okay? So then uh, they fill it out, they wait for about 30 minutes, and out walks literally a supermodel. Like, she's so tall, <laughs> she's got on heels, she's dressed to the tents. Not just pretty, but very like put together, very chic. And like the three you. of them. <laughs> and the three of them, you know, they're in their teens, so they're sitting there like, whoa, she's so pretty, right? And then she introduces herself. Let's call her Ashley. She's like, hi, I'm Ashley. Like, this is, you know, my talent agency. Please come in. That's her and, agency? Well, like, she you know, works here. Oh. And so she's like, please come in. So they go into her office, which is like this little table. And you know, there's some magazines on her office desk. There's some, you know, flyers, there's her portfolio. There's some picture frames behind her. And they sit down and she starts telling her her life story. Tiger farted and he's trying to bring it to me. <laughs> Bro, I don't want it, take it back, take it back. <laughs> 
she's telling the three girls about like her life, just how she became a model, all of the modeling gigs she's had. She's opening her portfolio, showing her all these like fancy photo shoot pictures, and it's like, yes, so this is how I got started. And um, oh, did you guys bring your headshots? And she starts going over their headshots, and she spent so much time on each picture. Like she wasn't just like, oh, you guys look good, right? It was like, oh, you know, I really like this pose. Like you have a very natural face. <laughs> you know, I really like this aspect. I think your hands are really beautiful. Like you could definitely book a hand modeling job. And then she's being very specific and very knowledgeable. So they're just like, oh my god, like thank you. Did you think you were gonna be famous? You felt good, huh? <laughs> no, I can already see this because I feel like this is what I do to her. Tiffany's just in it for the ride. She's just there to support other people, and she's like. This is not my, <laughs> what is going on right now? Yeah, you guys are good at this and that and, okay, so here's what I think. I think all three of you guys have amazing potential. I think we can definitely book you guys some jobs. So the first step, um, the process that we do, is you're gonna get a headshots, photo shoots, all of that done first, so that we're gonna create like a media deck for you, right? Then with that media deck and your portfolio, we're gonna send that to you know either modeling agencies or try to get you these modeling jobs. So they're like, okay, and at this point, you know, Tiffany is like just nodding because she's like, I just want to get out of here. This is a lot. And even during all of this, they could hear like photo shoots happening in the office. So like in the back, there were people changing and getting their photo shoots done. And she was like, yeah, so we're going to make sure that we get the photo shoots. And it was almost implied that they're going to be handling everything. Like, you know, the agency is going to pay for the photo shoot. And that's kind of how it was implied. So she's like, are you guys down for that? And they're like, yeah, yeah, okay, um, sure. And she's like, okay, well, the next appointment I have a photo shoot for is like within like a week and a half, maybe like two weeks, but it's about $2,000 per person. We do need like a $1,000 deposit today so that we can, you know, make sure that that appointment is booked and ready to go. Yeah, oh, and that includes like uh, modeling, like uh, like Course. little courses, right? What? And so the three of them being teenagers are like, a thousand dollars? You need a th you might as well ask me for a million dollars right now, you crazy lady. Are you freaking kidding me? So they're just like blinking. And she's like, okay, yeah, so do you guys have cash? Check, we take credit card. And they're like, what? Um, and they start rifling through their pockets. <laughs> and Tiffany was like, I have like two hundred dollars. <laughs> okay. And this is, you know, when you're a teenager, Tiffany was like, this is my whole, this is everything I had. <laughs> this was my net worth at the time. <laughs> and her friend is like, yeah, I have like about two hundred dollars. And her other friend was like, oh, I have like a hundred. And so like Tiffany loaned her money, and it was like six hundred dollars for all three of them. And the lady's like. 600, oof. Usually it's like a thousand a person. Okay, I do see a lot of potential in you guys, so I'm just gonna ask my manager and see what we can do because I feel like I can definitely book you guys some jobs. Okay, yeah, let me, okay, can I get the cash? I'll be right back. So she takes her cash. <laughs> she ran out. <laughs> She's not booking it. So she takes her cash and then, and then she's gone for a hot minute. And Tiffany is like, starting to feel a little weird. A little like, what? So she starts going through the portfolio that was on the desk. And I, she said in hindsight, she doesn't know why she didn't Google this person, but um, she's like going through and like trying to study these pictures. Like, are these real modeling pictures, you know? But at this point, she's still excited. Everybody's excited. The three of them are like, oh, this is cool. Like, it makes sense because, you know, they have to teach us these things and, you know, we have to invest a little bit of money and then it's gonna pay off. And then she comes back and she's like, good news. The manager said it's good. So I have you guys booked for the photo shoot on this day. She's like, make sure you wear this, make sure to bring this, like show up on this day, like don't be late, blah, blah, blah. And they send them on their merry way. So the three of them, they get in the car and they're like, wow, well, that was crazy. That was freaking crazy. Like we have a photo shoot in like two weeks. Like what are we gonna wear? Should we go shopping? And then uh, they kind of forget about it, right? Cause it's in like two weeks. A week later, <laughs> Tiffany's friend calls her and is like, did you see the news? Did you see my text? <laughs> And Tiffany's like, what? And her friend goes, it was all a scam. It was a scam. Read the news. So Tiffany opens the text, opens up all the news. And it's talking about how this scam has been going around in the entire nation. That office building that they went to for the quote audition was only rented for one month, okay? And for the one month, they went to all the malls, luring people in, writing down deposits for photo shoots, but just running away with all the cash. But not only was it just Atlanta, it was happening all across the nation. People were falling scammed 
like by these fake talent agencies. Never trust people at the mall. So how did you feel when you read the news? Tiffany said they made a pact that they would never speak of it again because it was so embarrassing. They didn't tell their parents, they didn't tell their friends, they didn't tell you, they told nobody and again. Wait, he just broke the promise. Yeah, so naturally, we're gonna tell the whole internet. <laughs> naturally, this makes sense. So now I wanna know how many people who's watching this got scammed! <laughs> thought they were gonna be a supermodel, okay? Exactly! You know my friend, uh, yeah. I'm not gonna name him, but yeah. he also got, he almost got scammed at the mall. Like, there was a magician oh my with God. three cards. Yeah. Uh, you know how, like, you try to guess that card? Yes. So he was, like, switching around. Yeah. And he was like, yo, whatever amount you put in, yeah. it will double if you get it right. Uh-huh. He's so dumb. I mean, <laughs> like, yeah. bro. So yeah, how much? He just, I don't know why, just thought, you yeah. know, he's, he's a credible guy. Did he put money in? He put 800. $800? Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. What? Who? What kind of friend? No, Which I, friend? That was my reaction too at first. I was like, wow. Also, you... what kind of friend has $800 in cash? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Like, it was through cash app. <laughs> but hear me out, hear me out. Hear me out. So, so he did it, right? Yeah. And he lost. Okay. And that guy was like, okay, it was, it was cash, but he didn't have cash. So he was like, yeah. okay, do I have cash app? So my friend was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he's. He lost, you know, and I guess, I guess he was like scared or something. He actually sent it, and then he came out of the mall after a while, and then he was like, ah, oh, dang it. He checks his check, cash app, and it didn't get through. It didn't go through. Uh, so it's like, oh my god, thank, oh, thank god. god. Yeah, he got lucky. But <coughs> all, all our friends, we, we all roasted him. Okay, can I roast uh, him for a second? When Ooh. we went to Paris, me? Yeah. Oh yeah, we got scammed. We got scammed <laughs> out of like a hundred dollars. It was like one of those ball in the cup things. They're and moving the ball around. Yeah. And, and like, this guy. Cup is in it. And I'm like, a hundred dollars in that cup. I'm really paranoid when I'm traveling, so I had my purse in front of me. I had the cash tucked away in like three different zippers. And so he had to ask me for the cash. And he was like, the cash. And I'm like, are you sure, babe? And he was like, absolutely, a hundred percent. And so I take it out. I make sure nobody else sees that we have extra cash, and I give him the hundred dollars. And uh, now we were scammed and we vlogged it. We vlogged the whole thing. It yeah, was a scam. And, and we got roasted in, by the comments. <laughs> yeah, the comments are like, you guys are freaking idiots! So uh, let's go swap outfits with Tiffany. I just want to show you guys our starting outfits. <laughs> so this is our starting outfit. Tiffany, would you like to come into frame? Ma'am. <laughs> guys, <laughs> we're swapping styles. So I wanted to do like case by case scenarios because I didn't want to just like swap outfits. The first one, this is gonna be a whole story that I thought out. We're walking to Whole Foods. No, we're in Whole Foods, we just parked. We get out the car, we put on our sunglasses, we walk into the Whole Foods, we go to the vet mango, we go to the vegetable aisle. We're picking out the biggest eggplant because, you know, a man grabs the same eggplant. We make eye contact and we just look so casual but so hot. And the guy is like, wow, what's your name? And we tell him, Stephanie, Stephanie? And he's like, can I take you out on a date? So that's the first case scenario. Tiffany, would you like to show your outfit first? Okay, I'll show mine first. <laughs> that many? <laughs> You're wearing that much? No, that's for her. I Bruh, it's the coolest Whole Foods outfit that I haven't worn yet. <laughs> like, I'm so excited about this outfit. You have no idea. I put it together. I ordered all the pieces. And I was like, in my head, I was like, it's going to be the best outfit ever. What is that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Bro, <laughs> that for Whole Foods? Okay, first, to start the outfit, we have a pair of baggy jeans. Lake Como top. And then, oh, I love this blazer so much. It's from the Frankie shop. I've never oh seen you wear that before. Because it literally came in the mail like a week ago and I haven't been out. Oh my god, best blazer. That's actually cute. Okay. Are you freaking- Well, I feel like you don't wear that. Bruh. Can we have Dana wear that real quick? Bruh, I wish- <laughs> If this is what your lawyer is wearing, you're going to jail. And then the next one is actually a gift that I got for my birthday that I haven't worn yet. From my friend from Texas. Me acting like y'all know Patricia. <laughs> Cowboy boots. Cowboy boots. From Texas. Oh, Are you cool. Cool. Smell it. It smells like Texas. Wow. Wow. Look at this. Look at this. No, Are you like kidding it. me? And you, what you got? Uh, yes. <laughs> she say. Whole okay. Foods or a nightclub? I'm not sure. <laughs> oh yeah. It's like leathery. Yeah, it's leather. I'm 
I think I'm gonna get all the dudes at Whole Foods. <laughs> stuff going on yeah. like the the, the oh cowboy God. boots and exactly. the jeans and, yeah. it's like so weird yeah and you look interesting too <laughs> i look like myself yeah yeah i, feel I like, like it. i'm pretty normal so okay, okay okay what do you think do you like it cool just like this someone's gonna ask for your number at whole foods oh yeah you think so <laughs> well, someone will be food. like let me see what's in your pockets <laughs> you look like you're hiding something so then the next one is we're going on a first date with the man from Whole uh, Foods. It's a daytime date. And uh, it's gonna be very like, here, let me show you what I got for you. Okay, this one though, you guys are gonna know because I wear this outfit too often. This is okay, okay, that looks very sophisticated. For my first date, I was thinking these really tall black boots, a cute little skirt, okay. very short, so you know what he's, you know, you know what the. Whoa, 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 what did you, what just draw a bow tie? Well, you have to do it the way that I do it because I think it'll be hilarious because all oh, my hair? Yes, so I do one on each side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look like mini mouse. And then this one is like an off shoulder top. My favorite white jacket to make it a little more daytime is from Verge Girl. So that's the look. Okay. Okay, she looks uncomfortable. I love it. Casual. She said casual. Uh, cute pants. Okay, very sophisticated. <laughs> look at me, don't look at me, don't look at me. Okay. Ah! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Wait, why is her top like that? Yeah, it's supposed to be like that. Did someone rip it off? It's supposed to be like that? Yeah, it's supposed to be a little festival, you know what I mean? It's supposed to be a little festival. I don't know about those shoes. I Sorry, I couldn't fit into her heels, but I, I feel like a it's business cute. woman. And I'm like, this is a coffee break. You look 12. Is this how I look? Suddenly I'm like, wait a minute, do I look 12? She, she said. Yeah, this is not this for is, me. Right? Yeah. I've seen you wear these. You literally look so good. I look so cute. cute. Like, thanks. Hey, <laughs> hey, you girl. Look so we're going on a second date with Whole Foods Kayla. This is what I got. Okay, I feel like my nighttime outfit is my daytime, huh? So then the first one I picked oh. is this dress, but you gotta make sure it goes up on the sides, like tie it up high, you know? Show that leg. I have a cream colored coat, some wow. cream colored boots, like an all cream theme. Okay. I'm ready, I'm excited. Show me how to show it. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love stuff like this. Oh, it's so cute. Oh. Okay, so All right, I will see right you back. guys soon. Can we see him? Yeah. Yo! Oh. Whoa! Oh you guys god. are like black and white. Oh my god, I yeah. actually really like this outfit. Dude, oh. this is cool. Wow, this is second date? Let's get married. Oh, <laughs> that. that looks cool too. The white looks pretty right? pretty fancy. You look like so cool. Wow. Okay, I feel like this one isn't too far from you, no? No. It's just okay, so cool. Yeah. So what do you think, Tiffany? You like your outfit? Yeah, I like it. It's what do you think, babe? I love it. Would you actually wear this out? Like See, I would, but I feel like I need to throw a hoodie on top. Okay, I don't know why, but I get nervous when I'm dressed formal. Why? I gotta act a certain way. Like, I feel like I gotta sit like this. <laughs> but like, prior to this, I'd be like... <laughs> you know? like Alright, the next outfit. Oh, okay, what is I that? Word, the third date. Third date. <laughs> why does it look like it'll fit in a Ziploc bag? <laughs> That's very formal. Oh.
secure the bag. Okay, so it's like Whoa. a dress, but it's like Whoa. a Whoa. kind of like uh, your shoulder, but with a sparkly, with a sparkly choker. <laughs> okay, this I think will be effective in whatever we're trying to do right now on the third date with what Whole Foods gave up. Can we look? I think you just need a little um, scarf, thing. scarf thing and you guys will both yeah. be ready to no. go to a dinner. Yeah. It looks Listen, like you, I looks like, um, looks like um, you guys are dating. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been on a date like this before. I don't know where I'm going, but it better be somewhere fancy yes. because you cannot be taking my ass to Chipotle wearing this. I would kill you. Huh. Where are we going? McDonald's. Oh yeah, like this. Oh yeah. <laughs> Stop it! Meanwhile. Tiffany, when do you actually wear this? Club. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. Okay, alright, so now after the third date, you know, this made him want to marry us. It really did. <laughs> like this dress right here yo, yo, yo. did the trick. So we're gonna go meet his parents. Okay. So I have this, yes. <laughs> God. She's leveling up. He's gonna die. This I got you a very nice poofy dress that I have never worn to meet his parents. I said I'm usually in leggings and a hoodie for some reason, but if I could do it all over again, it would be this. That's cute. That's really cute. Right? And then the parents will be like, wow, she looks like she goes to church. <laughs> That's what we want. All right. Okay, mine's gonna be like a, a Ooh, dress. Okay. okay. Like this is cover sounds. What is that? Two okay. dress? Is yeah. his mom Queen Elizabeth? <laughs> wow. Very That's good. Cool. Isn't that pretty elegant? I'll figure something out. Yeah, I'll figure it out. <laughs> oh my god! Whoa! Oh my god! I'm going to a. I love Whoa! This is Whoa. so weird! This is weird! This is weird! Yeah, this is truly like Tiffany and Stephanie style. Yeah. Yes. This is truly. like. Like epitome of that. Oh my god! Somebody, you look uh, you look 12. Here's my question. Do I look 12? No. No, you you look like 12. I think it's just the hair. Yeah, it's the like hair. Oh yeah, her short hair too. You look elegant too. I feel like I look like I'm gonna meet the parents and they're gonna be like, wow, she is she's got her life together. Uh -huh. Yeah, imagine Tiffany wear this to meet the parents. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Would you actually wear this? Honestly, oh, I honestly. I wanted to, but it feels like it doesn't match me. But it's so pretty though. Tripped out right now. You guys literally just like swap head. <laughs> literally. Alright, can we get a runway show, both of you? Yes. Five, four, three, two. <laughs> I feel like I pay my own taxes. Yeah. You guys look like mom and daughter. <laughs> Now, this is where the drama starts happening because we freaking knew Whole Foods Caleb was an asshole. Like, he was gonna do some shit. So he cheated. And uh, the girl, like the me. girl that he cheated on us with, on us, that's weird. <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> the, the girl that he cheated on whoever with knows about us. She was our best friend. Okay. What? <laughs> so this is the outfit that you wear to go see that bitch. To be like, you were my best friend, and then you slept with my. Okay, that just friend. got really, really complicated. Yeah, like really, <laughs> I don't know the storyline in my head. Is, it's a lot. So this is what I picked up. Okay. So you're meeting the cheetah. Yes. So the I got girl. some leggings and my favorite jacket right now, the Lululemon Define jacket, because you want to show up like you don't even care. You're like, I'm on my way to Pilates, so make it quick. You know. It, yeah. And let me feel if you want to fight her. Yeah, it's a move. Exactly. So, and then you gotta tie your hair up, and you gotta be like, I'm getting in my Range Rover and going to Pilates, and I don't need you as the best friend in my life because I'm doing great. Wow, okay. Who hurt me? 
Come come. come. Three, two, one. Oh my god! But you have an amazing figure. Your body looks like an hourglass right now. Literally, you look like this. Does she? Okay, you know what I said. I can't sit. I don't know if it executed well, but your figure looks amazing. You literally look like an hourglass. <laughs> This is the look. I'm gonna meet the mistress, we're gonna fight, and then guess what's happening. So I didn't tell you this, but we actually married the guy. <laughs> you married who? So we married the Whole Foods Caleb guy, and Both now, yeah, now we have to get a divorce. Well, actually, we're meeting each other with a mistress. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Damn. So weird, but it makes sense, kind of. Anyways, so now we're gonna go meet with the divorce attorney, and he's gonna be there. This is gonna be like the last time that you see him. Oh. And you know, you gotta make a statement. So here's what I pick. Okay, so the first thing we have Pink. is this oh. jumpsuit. Oh, this one's crazy. And then you I always like this so one, but I don't know why Tiffany I mean not Tiffany, Stephanie doesn't work. <laughs> That's getting weird. It's getting weird. <laughs> you don't need a Whoa! Baby. Honey, you're doing Whoa. too much. You so I love Dressing for the male gaze, right? But then now with this divorce, you're like, I don't need this. I dress for myself. Well, and then um, wow. his wallet, it's ten thousand dollars because oh, you're gonna take so every penny he's worth because oh, he yeah. cheated on you. I just got like, <laughs> okay. Oh, you are the attorney. <laughs> <laughs> These are fun. Let's go to the divorce. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Yeah, you both look like you're ready for that divorce. Thank you so much. We will be on the next season of Rich Housewives of Atlanta. It's <laughs> that my one's favorite. from AliExpress. Your brother bought it. Uh, I bought that one. Amazing. One. Yeah. I sell it to you. <laughs> I bought it for like I think 800. Oh. I'll no, sell it to no you for 400 <laughs> renminbi. <laughs> How much is 400 renminbi? That's like 50 dollars. Like no. 40 dollars. Oh, that means it's like. I'm sure it's like eight dollars. <laughs> <laughs> no. So this is gonna be the last outfit change, right? We walk into the divorce attorney's office like this. We get our divorce. We get every single penny that this man is worth, and the divorce attorney falls in love with us. What? Yeah. <laughs> what? So we're going on a date with the divorce attorney. Uh, <laughs> uh, now we're single. My favorite thing. That's what you're gonna be when and you're my single. Margaritas, hanging out with my friends, going to brunch, like, I got no worries. People yet. think you're losing it. I got no, no. <laughs> Divorce has broke her. Listen, I think I wore no color, pretty much. No non-neutral color. Oof, you gotta look like a bird. That is. This is gonna be yeah. the top. Yo. Okay. Whoa. It's a cross on the back. Oh, it's a cross on the back. The front. Okay, so I'm like, single, single. <laughs> yeah. I'll be right back. <laughs> Do a bow. Nice. nice. Oh yeah. <laughs> is this is what like girls do. Yeah. When we hang out. With yeah. their dress, they're just like, you're in my dress now. <laughs> but like, what do you think? It's cool. I like it. It's cool. You yeah. like it? Yeah. I don't Tiffany know. looks yeah, really I funny. Lie, I like it. I would never wear that. <laughs> really? Tiffany, when would you wear that? Guy, I wear this all the time. Look. <laughs> oh, yeah, really? Tiffany. Yeah. She wore this for like a week straight. Yeah. <laughs> she didn't even take it off. Just like when I first got it, I was in love with it because every time I sat on the couch, I just felt so girly. Uh, yeah. Wow. I feel uh, a little bit different. I feel like a different what, what's woman. What's your today. favorite? What's your favorite? Yeah. What was your favorite? Mine was third. The last one. Last one. The one before this. Yeah. The divorce oh, attorney. The divorce. Oh, the divorce. Oh, the divorce. I love that one. Oh. That one was good. Mm. I liked you in the first outfit. Oh yeah. Chef's kiss. Oh, 
it's the one with the big blazer, big you jacket. You look like a model off the With the cowboy boots. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please make sure to check out acorns.com slash Miss Mango Buds because, I mean. <laughs> Bro, I I'm sorry, but that outfit ain't it. You need to make better choices in life, and maybe this outfit is not it. But acorns always is. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.